What are you bringing up all these no, rubbish footballers? No, no. David Beckham, okay, apart from the Champions League, when he, uh, apart from Shut the up, Premier don't League, even go there with Beckham. after he no, left the do league, what did David, he do? Do not follow this myth that David what did Beckham he do was at Real Madrid? Footballer. What did he do at Real Madrid? Nothing. What did he do at AC Milan? Nothing. He was done. Exactly. But he did it at United. So what he, I the team about, did it what, for what, him. What, what, was David Beckham uh, overrated? Hey, what did you just say? The team did it for him. So does that not make us a good team? It makes you, it makes you a team that, 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 that played... Does that okay. not make us a good team? That makes you a good team. Of course it does. Now okay. compare the Hang two on teams. A minute. Hang Welcome back to the home of... Uh, the ch ch <laughs> Bit of beef, ah! bit of bevies last night for the winners, <laughs> bit of bevies for the champions that forgot how to talk. Here we go, here we go, here we go, another title that no one cares about. What are you? You just don't even enjoy it as much as you I, I woke up, I woke up uh, what happened? Arsenal lost to Nottingham Forest and we were champions. And bro, that pissed me off. Man. I knew that was going to happen. No, not, not, not the fact that you're champions, but. Bro, oh, I know that pisses you off. No, no, I, no, I know. no I'm okay with that. 150 judges. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but what really annoyed me is, bruv, you've been in a title race, you're telling us about how you're the best team, bro, and you've gone out with a whimper. Like, of all things to do, just packing it in and losing it to Forest, bro. Come on, man. At least, at least win your remaining games. Like, yeah. it's inevitable. Finish on a high. But try winner. <laughs> yeah, finish on a high. You <laughs> know what? Chiellini should have said, it's the history of the Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, not Tottenham. <laughs> <laughs> no. Cause honestly, mm -hmm. but that 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 shows you mentality is so like it's everything in sport, bro. That's a, a year ago, a year ago. Because Patrice. if they were in the stood, if they, I'll tell you something, if they were still in the title race, all right, they conceded early. They would have done what they done in, uh, against uh, Bournemouth, against uh, who else did they play? Um, Aston Villa. Mm. They would have went hard because they got something to think. But their mentality has been crushed, and I think that's the end of it, bro. So, yeah, imagine they start off next season with two losses, bro. What happens? Yeah, they're going. They're ending it's with <coughs> bad momentum. And I know the season is long, but think about that for a sec. What happens, bro? It's like Chelsea. When we started with losses, it's like Chelsea in ten bad weeks. When, when, when we started with like, losses, everyone was like, "Can Can City really cut the cheese this season again? Yeah. Or are they tired?" No, like, they just the whole the whole city just didn't look right at the start. So it, for us to say that Arsenal were going to be champions, it wasn't a bad shout. Yeah, um, yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't, Very, bro. Three no, games. Honest, no, three, for us as three, a fan, as yeah. just a neutral, I don't, I don't. We, we didn't not, expect them to drop nine games in a row. But yeah. we didn't Arsenal? expect yeah. them to be how as I, good as they were, bro. I kind of did, and then you all talked me into it. <laughs> yeah, you all talked me and convinced me into. You got a bit of a heart. You just, you just hating too much, T. It's in front of you. You're just hating. <laughs> you're just hating. We gaslit you into. <laughs> And then, and then when um, what's it called, when Georgina or the own girl Georgina begged in, and I was just like, everything's going their way. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe yeah. I'm deluded. That was me, cuz. <laughs> That's yeah. the only reason why I ever counted City out is because of the the way it was working out for him, and the way City like whatever happened with Cancelo and like the players were going, and I was just like, oh, I don't know if. And then the allegations. But after the allegations, I told you this might be a big, big positive for the city. After that, that alleg that hundred fifteen charges you kept yelling at the top of your lungs was the best thing to ever happen to us this season. Yeah, for another four years. Yeah, until anything. Mems told me today, he's like, I didn't care if those allegations are right, but like, as long as we got that fucking triple, I'm happy. Yeah, but they'll strip it if those allegations. No, they won't. Nah, they won't strip no, nothing. They won't strip, they won't strip nothing, bro. They can't. And as soon as we put the triple up on the board, brother, <coughs> can't charge me. Whatever you want to charge me with. Honestly, straight up. Honestly, charge me. Well, you, would you not be ashamed if your team got charged? No. Like, ashamed no, sorry, of what? Like, you found guilty, not charged. Sorry, got found uh, guilty. Ashamed of what? Of cheating. It's not cheating. It is. It's not. It it's, is. it's only cheating because someone that's not Manchester United, someone that's not Liverpool no, is no, doing no, no. it. Shut no, up, no, bro. No, that's no, why no, it's cheating. No, no, no. Wait, stop, when the hell did Liverpool Hold on. In 1992, when the Premier League was first introduced, you had two Just got cash receipts stuff. today. You had two cash cows of clubs who had all the fucking money and all the talent. To start building that league from foundation. Did we get charged with anything? You didn't get charged with anything. Oh, okay. You, you One started. Did we you charge? started. Did we get charged? We're our started. players, not acad academy players. You guys started with the legacy. Okay? But we're our players, not academy players. I can show you academy players. Who? Well. Cole Who? Palmer? Phil Foden, Rico Cole Lewis. Palmer, Rico Co Lewis. Phil Foden right, played right. three games. Yeah, yeah. Erling oh, yeah, Haaland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 if they charge us, they charge us. All we did was turn the use cash to our advantage. No, no. We spent, I, I and have, we spent well. I have no problems with City spending. And last year when City won the league, I did not throw up a fast for kickoff. I was like, oh, City won the league. Oh, City. I'm okay with not winning. 
if it's fair and square. I can live with that. I'll be okay with it. If Liverpool end up having to have more titles than us because they wrongly didn't win titles when they were racing years, so be it. So be it. If Arsenal was supposed to have a title, so be it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. It's just the fact that you guys have charges hanging over your head. And it's not spoken about it enough. People are like saying this is the best team. Like, do you, you're saying you use your money to your advantage. Your sponsor is literally Etihad and they're pumping this big sponsorship <laughs> deal to manipulate financial fair play. You're not going to hear this shit when you're not doing it next year. Yeah, no, you're not. It <laughs> says the bloke begging for a Qatari I'm not, takeover. I'm, I'm not begging for Qatari takeover. Because I've always said, if you give me Bowley, I'll be happy. Like I just want someone that spends money. I don't care if they're American. Ah, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care if they're Arab. I don't care if they're Rosie. I don't care so, where they so come TK's, from. So TK's TK's mindset is spend money, but not if you're Manchester City. Don't spend money. No, no, no. Spend money the right way. We don't falsify money. documents. We're not falsifying anything. Don't 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 pump up your revenues. Um, nah, but Man City City do what they do best. Cheap. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Um, I, bro, I can be salty. I, I, if anyone's gonna, be, if anyone's gonna be salty, it's a Liverpool fan, cause because we've only won one in how many? Mate, the Liverpool, past Liverpool fans are busy clutching onto. Do you see how hard it was to sweep up with this city? Not team? really. Do, do you Arsenal see? Fans, <laughs> not really. Do you see? Arsenal fans never no, no, you compare know your team to you know what? Team. One sec. You know, yeah, that's true. Cause don't compare them. But let me tell you something. Now all the pages, everyone's like. Arsenal have actually done so well. Look at this Man City side. All the Arsenal legends are like, this Man City side is unbelievable. It's like, yeah, dickhead, it's been happening for how many years? There's only Everyone's one team. Everyone's told you that. <laughs> There's one team that only, there was only one team that ever kept up with them, and that's Liverpool. So obviously it's going to be pointed out. But if anyone's going to be salty, it's me. But honestly, I watched the celebrations today and I was just like, maybe because I wasn't in the title race, but I was just like, yeah, okay. And City isn't really a. Like, they become your rival, but they're not really a rival. It's a healthy rivalry. You know what I mean? It's not like us next door to them. Even you two. That are, yeah, yeah, even us. Two. It's yeah. not the same. Like yeah. That's why it doesn't burn you as much. It's like, yeah, they've done it again. We were there. That's why it doesn't sting you as much. Yeah. Like if we were in City's position doing it, you'd be throwing things. Phil Foden is now the youngest player to ever have five Premier League titles at the age of 22. That is crazy. Uh, Pep... Has won five in six. He's been in the Premier League for seven seasons. And his time as a manager, out of 13 seasons, he's won 10 league titles. That's a very good efficiency rate. What else did we hit? Oh, yeah. United haven't finished above us in the Premier League in 10 years. The last time they did so, Alex Ferguson was still doing his stuff. Any other records come to mind, Sui? Um, uh, longest amount of time spent by a Premier League team and not win the league, Arsenal. All them years and no Champions League. Yeah, no champions. So leagues. we might that narrative might change, but for now I'm gonna yell it as much as loud as I can. You got another three weeks to yell it, bro. <laughs> yell it at the top of your lungs. Nah, ah, uh, bro. Uh, you know, you know me as much as City used to burn me. That when I get you get older and you watch how football is played, <coughs> I just I don't know. I, I, I enjoy watching them play sometimes. Sometimes it burns me, but that's football, bro. You don't always get your way. And um, congratulations, Man City. Um, that bench looked crazy yesterday. That, oh, I love these. The I love. I just every time I watch City play and they put the put the camera on the bench, I'll, I just go back on my TikTok comments and I just read them all. Mm. Man City have no depth. Use a four, six, six. We're spanking. Man City have the smallest squad. Dog. We're, we're We've used spanking. the least players. We're Everyone just lined hey, up. Don't forget to shout out. Okay. Okay, bro. I, nah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Nah. You're he's in my most improved. Wallah, he's in my most improved. Because I watched him live at the World Cup. He was horrendous. Mm. The game I watched. Okay? I didn't really watch Netherlands properly. But I was like, cuz, this guy's shocking. Him and Delhi. They're both shit. Mm. And I, then I yeah. watched him against Liverpool live as well. And that's when I made my conclusion. Okay. That he's, it he's, it he's, makes sense when you watch him live. It's different. It's yeah, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, when you, watch you caught him on a bad day in the office. I did. And that's the day that stuck in my memory. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> like seventy dollars or something, it's all right. <laughs> Sorry. Unlike some people paid thousand two hundred to, to, to watch what, seven, to watch seven nil poundings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm wearing a Bobby Firmino jersey. Um, I wanted to talk about Bobby, Keita, Milner, and Ox. Maybe not Keita. Nah, know. even let, let him talk. Listen, even though Keita, as much as I hate, <coughs> or hated him in that, it's I don't know. When I see a player leave, it's just like because uh, I feel like he could have done more than what he did. He was always injured. Um, so whatever he does in the future, I hope I hope he's injury free and I hope he does well. Um, Ox, bro, Ox before that Roma, the game against Roma, it, he was on fire, bad injury, copped a few of them in his in his thing. But he's getting old now, so we've seen the best of him. That's another one that goes. I loved Ox, bro. His energy was good in the squad. I feel like he was like, you know, the vibey type. Uh Milner is 
as much as I talk about him, but I talk about all these players, but James Milner, guys, Allah, like the way people talk about him in, in British media, like the way he's spoken about, and I know they're high players and that, but they just talk about how professional he is, how long he's been in the game, how he's still at the top of his game, maybe not quality-wise, but still does everything hard in training. So someone like that is a good role model for everyone, bro. He was ridden off when he left City. He was, yeah. Like to, and and to bro, the, and the, and the the role he played in Liverpool <coughs> was so important, bro. Mm. I'll never forget that against Barcelona. The general, when he, he's the general. Yeah, at the, against Barcelona when he leaned on the ball like it was the end, and he just sat on it. It was just like I know it's a little moment, but it's experience. Like he still understood that anything could fucking happen right now. So be happy where we are. And man, I I, I wanted him to actually extend and just same as Adrian, the goalkeeper. I, I don't like him, but to have him around the group, I think it's important. Um, and the last one, the most sad one. My favorite player in this genera in this era, Bobby Firmino, bro. What a player! I don't think there's any rival fan that can talk bad about him, can call him overrated. I think the way he played. <laughs> Take can talk bad about anyone, bro. Yeah, Take is ah. not a rival fan. Take is alright, bro. Take is just I know he wants to doing the Venice thing, bro. What are you <laughs> talking about? That's what I'm doing. I'll swear. Yeah, he came to the prem with the whitest teeth, bro. He's a game changer. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking bad. I'm just doing nah, the Venice. Man, Bobby Bobby Firmino is my favorite, and I'll tell you why he's my favorite because. He always just let everyone else shine in front of him. Like, how many goals he could have scored, how many times he could have tried to be on the front page and tried to be this, you know, uh, this icon, this figure. But the position he played allowed Mane and Sa Salah to be who they were, bro. Think about it. I think if whoever that was on the each end of the side would have still been unbelievable. Maybe not as high quality as Salah Mane, but just the way Bobby made football work for football Liverpool was unbelievable. And he's a clock player, man. That pressure he allows from the front and just, I don't know, I'm so sad because I love him. I wish he stayed one more season. But wherever he goes, they're going to get a special player, a selfless player and someone who's going to bring a lot of quality to the team. So, si, senor Bobby, I love you. This one's for you. And that's the end because Damek, boys, he's got to take over now because I'm probably going to start crying. I feel Jones. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I didn't, I didn't want him to start. <laughs> Next. Anyone <That's> else? <laughs> And probably Harry Maguire. I think I think we've lost America Laporte. It's gonna be sad because honestly, I very very good centre back. He just couldn't gel into that team properly. No, he He's did. Been but important. Just injury, injuries, injuries. Wanna, but big part of that team, bro. Big, big, big part of that team. Big character, big personality, and. Wherever he goes, I know he's going to be a starting, solid starting centre back. And I he's going to be Spanish, the Spanish side centre back for a long, like yeah, for the whatever years they yeah. play. And he's still young, bro. He's still 25, 26. He's only younger. Yeah, he's very young. I wonder so. why they're getting rid of him. I think injuries. I think in, I think health wise mm. is the so main it thing. Just depends on his ambition. And just bro. to bring in another hundred mil defender. Get a bit, get a bit of money for him, and and bring a backup for for Diaz and Stones. I Where feel do you like think he goes, man. Laporte. I think he goes to Spain. I don't think so, bro. You don't think he goes to Barca? I see him at Barca. I think it's expensive. I think we're losing Bernardo. I feel like that that's come to an end. Yeah, the way he's talking. I think yeah, he's the way he's talking. And I saw him celebrating. Especially a if bit. he wins the Champions League, there's no other reason for him to stay. Yeah, honestly, yeah, honestly, he's won everything. He he's wants, a legend. I mean, he, he wants to go to Barca, so he can he can go. Who else are we farewelling? Doesn't it? Gundogan? I don't think Gundogan's gonna. Nah, apparently they offered him a contract and he <coughs> he, he accepted. accepted. I so hope he does. Twenty twenty four will be his last season. I hope he does. He'll get a statue <laughs> when by the time he's finished. Yeah, he's called the Pink Moments, bro. <laughs> The game today in f against Valencia. Um, it's so sad to hear this shit still happens, bro. And you know, and I'll tell you what, uh, one of the reasons, I know racism it all happens a lot and whatnot, but I wanted to touch base on it because Vinny Jr. is the hottest prospect right now in La Liga. Am I wrong? He's one of the best players. Who else is better than him in La Liga? Can you name anyone, Tadanaka? There's not one, like, it, when, when, when it's Champions League time, I don't think even when Barca were in the Champions League, no one really, Lewandowski, like... These big names, no one really cares, but someone that's upcoming and, bro, that's going to dominate for many years, we all know it. Cooks at Premier League teams that we watch in the Champions League. And La Liga, f I think the La Liga president came out and said, like, oh, um, basically, like, shut up and just play. So, for me, that baffles me, brother. How would you, how do you say that to Vinny after, especially after ba um, Ronaldo left, Messi left, <coughs> like, all this income that you were getting from these superstars and the way they were generating the, uh, uplifting your league, which is a rubbish league, by the way. I don't think anyone can ever watch La Liga and watch the whole 90 minutes. One of the worst, like, it's boring. I don't know anyone who keeps up with La Liga. As no one really watches La Liga, bro, honestly. Mm. I try to watch it on, when waiting, while I'm waiting for a Premier, it's just not for me. Maybe it's for other people, but it's just not for me, cuz. <laughs> the commentators... <laughs> Bro, they, ha the, they, they give out, like, red cards every game. Like, they ha I think there's, like, a certain 
Yeah. Quoted after me. And there's a, the stadium's empty half the time. Empty. Yeah. And like it's Spain, bro. It's football's big in Spain, so yeah. I don't know what I don't know what they done, and they started chanting uh, bad things to him, and he cried, and he put up a thing, and Ferdinand came out and backed him, and everyone should. I think everyone should back him, bro. And I think I don't know, man. I don't know what, what you do to solve it because it will always be in this world. Racism will always exist. We've been trying to kick it out for how long, bro? Yeah, but that yeah. I don't think they try enough, bro. Honestly, yeah. I don't think taking a knee does shit, bro. They stop. Uh, have you ever seen anyone take a knee anymore? I'd say a good ninety to ninety-five percent of the people who watch football and do they do the right thing, right? Of course. And they're not racist. So when you're doing take the knee, take the knee, it annoyed me or four people. Oh my like, bro, why are we taking the knee before the start of the games? Because you're preaching to the converted. Most of the people that you see, and if you th- think this bloke or whoever it is or that person, they're gonna see someone taking the knee and go, you know what? Whatever in in like indoctrinated hatred I have for this race or this person is gonna stop because I see no. someone taking the knee. It doesn't work like that. So it was just stupid. It's just more more so one of those things that they were doing to 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 kind of. It's almost like you, you know what you do. It's like a showcase, go, it, uh, bro. In Spain, it's very bad, bro. Bro, against Atletico Madrid, they hanged up a, a black doll. The Atletico Madrid ultras, they hanged up a black doll. Like, come on, bro. Mm. All, right, all right, it's the fans, but say something, do something, ban someone. I don't know what you're gonna have to do. But can't keep going. It, it will never, it will never stop. Bro, did you see the boy got put in a headlock, bro? He got put in a headlock. He got put in a headlock and he got sent. Bro, he got put in a headlock and pushed the guy off him, and then he got red carded for it. And as soon the as he got red carded, started clapping to the ref like, "Thank you," because like, now you just you proved to me. Was that when? Was that when? The, was that when the coach took all these players off the field? As no, well? this no, no, this morning. morning. Oh. It was this morning. Bro, he got put in a full headlock. Bro, it was <laughs> shocking, and 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 the, well, someone in the crowd called him a monkey or something, something of that sort. And he's like going at the crowd, like you calling me, like whatever. Everyone's stopping him. To be fair, some Valencia players did step in and like oh, tell the crowd to shut their mouths and stuff. But I think, bro, if that happens to my teammate, wallah, I'm walking off. Yeah. If they actually walked off the pitch. Just walk off, bro. Because guess what? Then the powerhouses of the league, that people that fill their po- pockets with money, will be like, oh, bro. Even last week, we missed the game this week because of this shit, man. We have to step in. And then when you start hurting their pockets, it starts to to to, to touch them a little bit. Even last week. The West Ham in against that Dutch team in the Conference League. Yeah, that was yeah. fucked. Yeah, hey, that guy was haymaking everyone yeah, in the crowd. Fuck, bro, he cracked. Every, he's a, he should be like Who a West it? Ham legend. Who was it? Because West Ham supporter, I don't know, some chubby guy. Yeah, he and just cracked. Bro, him. there was they walking up the stairs and he just crack, crack, crack. I swear, cracked about fifteen people. <laughs> and he's by himself, bro. And pe- the West Ham supporters are behind him, like throwing shit. And the guy's just boom, boom. <laughs> oh, this is hectic. Yeah, that's was Dutch. that Dutch? That's, yeah, yeah, that's Dutch fans for you, bro. When I went to um, very, very hardcore P- PSV Arsenal, remember the snaps that I was yeah. sending? The, it was kicking off. Like, yeah. they're crazy, bro. I don't yeah. know, but I feel like football's an escape. Like when you watch football, bro. Walla, when I watch yeah. football, it's like it's, it takes me away from everything, cause like Bobby left, cause I was I was more upset than any breakup I've ever had in my life. Shout out, my like, bro. This is shit, go, cause. It's, so it's, sports, it's an escape, and it shouldn't be. We shouldn't be talking yeah. about this shit. When it comes to soccer, so who who made you fall in love with football? <sighs> Ooh, um, <laughs> he's on. Uh, he was on the wall. Still is. Ronaldinho, bro. How did that come? Ronaldinho just... made me fall in love with football. Just especially that Nike ad. I'll never forget it. That fake Nike ad that was just kept hitting the crossbar mm. and Take dancing and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that made me love football, and that's why I became a Barcelona fan. Mm. And then Messi came into the picture, obviously. You know, you in. just remind me of you just remind me of the Pepsi ads back in like. They were the oh, best. Oh wow! <laughs> they were the best. But during the World Cup, there was one Messi Pogba and yeah. thing, and you could. It was so AI. It was like <laughs> I, I feel like I don't know if it was, but it was so bullshit. It was yeah. like Chat GPT before Chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> it's like man? Messi's in Qatar. Bullshit is here, bro. It's not here. It's kind of hybrid for me because I think I think it could be more than one player. Not not just a player, but it was like really my, my older brother and then like if it wasn't for my older brother I wouldn't have watched United is what I'm trying to say damn um, <laughs> <laughs> like he was a United fan growing up um, and I wouldn't have watched United if it wasn't for my older brother but it wasn't enough just watching United I remember this was around like when Beckham was just hitting free kicks for fun bro curlers uh, bro I remember he hit this curler and I thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen I was like, I want to see this again and again and again. And it just pretty much just started from there. So if my, my brother wasn't a United fan, I probably, you know, I might have probably supported another team. Yeah. 
But it's that, that whole adult thing, that, like when you have an older brother, you generally tend to want to do what they do and you want to be like them. So you end up going kind of sort of down the same road as them. And I think that's just kind of what happened in my case, you know? Yeah, that's how, that's how it is, bro. It's, you look up, that you know, before I started properly watching, because I watched, I, I remember watching Premier League when it was on the Fox <laughs> box, the black one or the Optus box. <laughs> yeah. And you used to press the red button. Yep. And, um, <coughs> and all the, all the, the games used to come up. So I don't, that's why when you talk about like the history and stuff, I don't really like understand exactly what happened in this moment, exactly what mm. happened in that moment. But I remember Hamza and Rustam, my best mates, they'll come over and they'll talk about Liverpool. And whoever Liverpool versed that week, I was supporting them. Yeah. Just to like get on their nerve. Chelsea, yeah, yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, 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 Arsenal, yeah, this week. And they're like, but shut the fuck up, bro. You're annoying, cunt. This is serious. You know, I, I never <laughs> I understood. Understand. I never understood. I, didn't, I was like, whatever, bro. Arsenal, Barca, anyway. Yeah. And then... um. Hamza's father, Allah Hamul, he, he, right. I remember him used to call him every like time Hamza would be over. Like, he coming home to watch the game. He coming home to watch the game. And then I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, what? If this man, right, he's like, he's an old man and he's into it at one in the morning to watch it. It started to really get me interested. And then, bro, I just started watching and then Klopp and then whatnot. So that's how Liverpool started. But Ronaldinho is for me, bro. Those tricks, bro. Those flair, that dancing, the funny, the fun side, and then you you just knew he was a menace, cause outside of the field, mm. you just knew, brother. This guy is going somewhere. It's about fifteen girls lined up for him. Five argiles, drinks are all there. The guy's that's ready it, to bro. go. That's <laughs> it, bro. He got, he found a bit of money. What about you, man? Uh, for me, it was a funny one. So growing up in Turkey, football is it's your, it's your DNA, it's your culture. Um, so I was a Galatasaray fan the day I was born. I was given my Galatasaray overalls. I thought the scarf was on the door. Yeah. Sorry. I was given my Galatasaray overalls. I was um, I was born and bred and raised in that Turkish league. And then I kind of lost sight with it when I came to Australia. Um, I was actually, my dad tells me I was two and a half years old. I was at the 1999 uh, UEFA Cup game, Galatasaray versus Arsenal. So your dad was a big, like, yeah. he loved football. Yeah, and, my, and Galatasaray won that game. And we won the UEFA Cup against Arsenal. Well. And this was... 99 2000 season well so this was like robert perez um, proper Arsenal, yeah, yeah, proper dennis Bergkamp, wenger days well i was there but i don't remember i'll be sorry i remember nothing <laughs> nah well, uh, Bergkamp kicked the ball <laughs> yeah, yeah. told me the other day um and then as i got older 2006 world cup australia versus italy that's a game that comes to mind i, was I 10 remember years that old. game i was 10 years old we got robbed yeah yes no, penalty. Get robbed, bro. we did get robbed every that day was not a pen pen every day of the week bro Anyway, you can argue about that, but that <laughs> was the get into refs, please. That was the first <laughs> ever. That was the first ever live game I watched, and I really enjoyed watching that Italian team play because they went on to win the whole thing. So then I started watching AC Milan, and this is when they had Kaka. Ooh. This is when they had Shevchenko. This Zero. is when they had Serov, Gattuso. To this day, that's one of the greatest teams to ever be as assembled. Ever. And it was actually the year after. Liverpool beat them in the Champions League. They won it the next year, didn't they? They won it yeah, the next year. Yeah. They're like, fuck oh, this script. Gosh. Fuck yeah. this scripted shit. Gerard trying to get his flowers. We're winning this year. They went and won it the next year. They um, pumped us that year, bro. And then I followed Kaka when he went to... Okay. He, he was my favourite player. He was my, he's my goat. You told I me, loved Kaka. Who's bro. your favourite player? Goat is Kaka. I love, I love Kaka. And then he went to... He went to Real Madrid. And that season, he actually almost signed for City. You know, City almost signed him. I heard that. City almost signed him, but he ended up signing for Real Madrid. So your heart was really with City the whole time. He's just trying to tell us the story how it became. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. And then that's when I started watching the, the Spanish league when Kaka signed for Real Madrid and then I found Aguero. And then you know the rest. Aguero Torres. Aguero Torres. you always Tor tell me about Aguero, Torres. Aguero Torres. Um, what's his name? The Uruguayan guy. Who played for Atletico. Forlan. Forlan, yes. Diego <coughs> Forlan was there. Why Built you support Manchester like? United then, you dog? <laughs> <laughs> because Aguero went and joined City. Fair enough. Before long, came from United, you yeah. dog. <laughs> I didn't look at it that deep. But yeah, that's yeah. how it started. So I think you can say it's just always been there, but Kaka really... Bro, really I used to love... We, we used to know him because Kaka in Arabic means like poo. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, Kaka, Kaka, oh, look, he's wearing a Kaka jersey. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and, then, and then you snap out of it and you're like, he's actually a baller, bro. <laughs> what are you laughing at, cuz? <laughs> I'll rip this like... <laughs> bro. One of, are weird. We're just one, one of the <laughs> most underspoken, he's not spoken about enough how good he was. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't live up to his potential. It's another player that really didn't. Well, but man, like injuries for him, but. Injuries. A lot of them when he got to Madrid, he got injured a lot more than at AC. Mm. Like he was a bit fragile at Madrid in mm. terms of but his That period body. he had like, when he was. With AC, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I never watched it live, so I'm not going to see him act like I was there with my mates and that, but 
Bro, when you watch the highlights, it's like just Brazilians, bro. Insane, bro. Brazilians, bro. They just they know how to love. Bro, we clapped him off the field, bro. That's how good he played. Bro, he standing does. ovation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, He's bro. one of the very few places to get a standing ovation bro, at Old Trafford. Bro, we clapped him off. Yeah. The bloke rinsed us. Like, Two, I think absolutely. he's clapped off Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho rinsed and, us. And Kaka. Oh, no. Not Ronaldinho. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, yes. No, no, R9. R9. Yeah, R9. Yeah, R9. 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 We, we clapped. Ron Ronaldo did this hat trick and then... Like they they pumped us and like when he was subbed the whole ground just yeah bro but mate <laughs> yeah, <great job. laughs> honestly oh, what are we gonna do I love that I yeah. love that shit bro yeah. it's like when um Ronnie scored the the bicycle against Juve and yeah the Juve fans clapped. are just like <laughs> bro, as soon as he scored you know while he was celebrating they just yeah. started like wow bro, like, imagine one sec imagine being there brother yeah. seeing that leap. Like, like no you're where, burning yeah, into the team, no, but at the same time, no like, matter where you, wow. man, I would, I, act, while I wouldn't be burning, I would be like, this shit's written in the stars, bro. Yeah. bro. This shit's written go in the stars. Go win it, so go win it, son. Just go win it, yeah. Like I hate you, you just yeah, but go, go cause go win it, son. It's different, man. Hmm. But fuck, and uh, there's been a lot of things, man, in football, cause but you're in the you're in the ground, cause. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that stadium, I'm thinking about it now, brother. If I'm sitting there on the corner where I sat in the World Cup or something, yeah. and you see that, you see the bloke up, you see the bloke jump like. That's next level. I've just got an city from Abdul Kanj. If City do complete the treble, do they go but down as the best Premier League side of all time? Not until they're cleared of their charges. I'm sorry. But oh, shut the fuck nah, up. No, straight out. Shut the day they up. get cleared, you can have that shut conversation. The fuck up. Oh, we're not talking about financials. We're not talking about business. We're talking about football on the pitch. Oh, football. Yeah, yeah. one million percent. Yeah, I think fuck what anyone says. Football, football on the pitch. Forget politics. Yeah. Forget who's the forget coach. Forget all that. We're talking about football style. Yeah, of course, because brother, they, they dominate the whole game. They score goals. They got the best striker. They got the best one of the best defenders in the world. They got a good keeper. It's hard to disagree with it. So that's what. But legacy, what I don't know, man. I don't think that United treble, bro. What he done with him. I, I, Bro, like allegations, he, he had an unfair advantage anyway. Oh, he took all these kids, bro. He had, he had an took unfair his kids. Like, like, I, like I'm saying, I never got to experience if, if Bill Gates gave birth to five kids, those kids will automatically be privileged because of how rich their daddy is. What do you mean? Is that not Beckham correct? came from Preston North okay, End. Hold on, hold on. Preston just, North End. Just hold on. Nicky Butt Academy product. The, the Neville brothers. Okay. People don't even speak about Gary and Phil Neville in the light of, oh, these are good fullbacks, bro. These are not good fullbacks. They're just footballers who grew up in a really good team. That's all what it is, bro. So what's Phil Foden then? Is he a good footballer or did he grow up Phil in a Foden, really good team? Gary Neville cannot contain Phil Foden on his best day. No, no, but what's your point? Gary Neville no, no, is a rubbish... I agree with that because no, I hate no, Gary, no, Neville. Gary Neville. What's your point? What's your point? What are you bringing up all these no, rubbish footballers? No, no. David Beckham... Okay, apart from the Champions League, when he, uh, apart from Shut the Premier up, don't League, even go there with Beckham. after he no, left the league, what did he do? Do not follow this myth that David What did he do at Real Madrid? Footballer. What did he do at Real Madrid? Nothing. What did he do at AC Milan? Nothing. It was done. Exactly. But he did it at United. So what? He, the team about? did it what, for what, him. What, what? Was David Beckham uh, over What did you say? The team did it for him. So does that not make us a good team? It makes you. It makes you a team that played. Does that okay. not make us a good team? That makes you a good team. Of course it does. Now okay. compare the Hang two on teams. A minute. Hang on a minute. Compare how about, the two teams. How about fraudster Kevin De Bruyne at the World Cup? What were we saying about that man? Hiding. What were we saying about every single City player that went to the World Cup? Hiding, hiding, hiding. So don't sit there and tell me, oh, these players were only good for the team because when all these City players got pucked out and got told to play international football, they were fucking bums. Except so Julian don't Alvarez. sit there. Don't sit there. Except well, Julian Alvarez. Don't sit there. Don't, okay, that's one exception out of our squad of what, 25 that you take into the Premier League. So you can't sit there and say, oh, nah, it was the team that made these United players so good. I'm no, not, it was the unfair advantage they had. What, you if, had what unfair advantage? That we had a good academy? So in yes. 10 years' time, when your academy becomes good and you start developing players off the crop of United's quality back in 92 so and back in 99 and 97, are you going to sit there and say, oh, they had an unfair advantage? Yeah. Or are you going to say, we've built a good academy and yes. therefore we're ripping the rewards well, off our hard exactly. work? Exactly, we built a good academy. You guys built the whole league with a silver how, spoon in How did we ass. build the whole league? Because what, we <laughs> sat down with Murdoch and conspired hmm. to make what the Premier League is today. The yes. best entertainment product in the league. Yes. Are you are you angry because you weren't part of those meetings? Yes. Is that why you're angry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me! I thought someone was gonna punch on, bro. I was like, hey, these guys. I was laughing. Six Champions Leagues. I'll just yell it out. Soon. Like, I don't know if I want to yell out that shit right now. Okay. But going back to it, if you go player for player, United, whatever fucking era you want to pick. Player pick, for player. Pick whatever area you want. Player for player. I reckon we probably had two or three players that were better than your players. Yes. But as a team, we're not looking. If we look at everything player for player, I can pull out if, player for player that are better than your players in any team across the seasons. If I can go pick out Liverpool's 
players from the the the, the when the yes they've pushed you and say would you not take Van Dyke in that city team, things like that. You can't go player for player. You got to look at it from the team perspective. Okay. Let's look at it and if, right they, now, if they if they played each other. If Peak United played this Man City team right now, Peak United would get slapped. Here's the thing. People don't even know which... The City people talk about how good this City team is, but they don't even know which United team to compare us to. The treble. Because people are talking about the 90, the 99 United team and people also talk about the 2007 double team. You don't even no, know which City, team... City have two... City have been... Have had different teams, bro. I know they've had different teams, but people don't even know. And we all talk about how good City is, but I'm happy to have this conversation when when you have actually locked up all three titles. How can you sit there and say your legacy is better than a treble winning team when you haven't won the treble yet? Now, we're working off an assumption that you are going to win the treble. Do it first, come back and we'll have the conversation. You can't sit there and say we're better than your treble winning team. Our legacy is written. You're still yet to write yours. Anything could happen. What about if you go in the next three games, Rodri does his, his ankle or something, and you've got no damn guns. Calvin that. Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Fat boy. Hey, wait, Bozo. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He played well, but against Chelsea. I don't know. You, I didn't you can't yeah. compare him yet. Until yeah. you write your legacy, you can't start doing it pr- pr- prematurely. What's the point? What, mm-hmm. what, like, what about this scenario plays out where you lose the FA Cup and Inter beats you, and yeah. you ended up... If that happens, are you going to come here and, and say to me, oh, yeah, we still got a better team than your treble winning team? Or are people just going to remember you as the team that fell short? Look mm-hmm. at Liverpool. They were singing quadruple last year. That team doesn't get spoken about in their achievements Stop anymore. Stop hurting me, bro. Stop hurting <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, we don't speak about it anymore. But when they're going up to the quadruple, people are like, this might be the best team we've ever seen. No, nah, well, I, I, I would never say I that. I know you never said that, never but that. five, six games later... It's that, well, they, done. They've done the most amazing That's the it's most done. amazing But thing, the but difference That I'm going to highlight Is they weren't Sweeping people aside It doesn't they matter They weren't battering Left right your, and center. Your legacy comes down To two games And yeah. 180 minutes no, Of no, football Or second. maybe 240 minutes Of football If we get extra time Penalties no, but one second, That's one what second. your legacy Comes down to One sec it's, First of all It's very hard to compare them Error for error Because I, back, that, back in them I don't know Maybe correct me If I'm wrong but in them eras, there wasn't three, two, three, one. This wasn't guy playing this, no. this guy playing that. There wasn't people spending big money like Chelsea. I know that they're whatever <laughs> and City and there wasn't defenders 80 million like Van Dijk, 70 million. So it's, diff- it's very hard to compare. But obviously, if you're going to ask me on the day who beat two, I'm going to say City because they're more advanced. They've had more whatever. They've played better. They've style. got better recovery. They've got better technology. No, yeah, no, no. But no, no. Let me, let me land. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. So it's very hard to think, but I I know what we're using as an intro. It suck everyone in for clickbait. <laughs> you know what? The fan punches all of City fans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Like to wrap it up. Nah, you, if it, you win the treble, which we will. If you win the treble, which come, we will. Don't, come. Come. don't get cocky. If which you win we the will. don't get cocky for your own we, sake. Which, we, for your own sake. which him, we will. Let him be cocky. If no, you, I'm, if you I'm, win he's the my treble, mate, cuz I love him. If you win the treble, which we will. We will come out of this conversation, but until you do it, you cannot have it. You can you cannot have that. TK, discussion. I'd like to put some time in your calendar to have this conversation Mate, on June twelfth we'll, when I get back from Istanbul. We are going to have this conversation. Oh, you're coming back after you lose. <laughs> oh, <that'll be> <laughs> if we lose, just cancel the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> what cancel the meeting? Delete the podcast. What do you mean, bro? I'll find myself to Istanbul, <laughs> pick you up, get yeah. my teeth done, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Fix the little hairline <laughs> <in the, laughs> <laughs> Sorry Ace uh, Sorry Ace I gotta go bold <laughs> but Go on I think I think United fans Are just way up In their own heads Over a good 10-15 year period They had Where no one else Could catch up to them Okay And now that City Went all out And said let's catch up To these guns Right across the road From them all of a sudden, they have, don't you know, you spend too much money. I have right? no issues with your spending. 15 charges. I, I have no issues with your spending. Yeah. I've said this repeatedly. If you're allowed to, to spend. Win football, to win football now, you need to spend money. Full stop. I yes. have no issues with the spending. What do you have an issue with? But that? you guys literally paid a fine in 2016 or 2017 to UEFA for, for breaching financial fair play rules. Can all you, I'm can, gonna can say, you no, cite the rules no, that no, we breached? All I'm going to say to you is, brother, if I'm driving my car and Revenue New South Wales... Puts a letter in my in my mailbox and it says, T, we caught you doing 30Ks over. I'm not going to call them up and be like, I'm not guilty. So let's work something out, guys, eh? Um, let me, you know, okay. you guys want 800 bucks, I'll give you 400. Now, now put it um, this let, way. Let me, let me give you 400. I'm not going to do that unless I'm slightly guilty. 
I might go on a payment plan because I'm guilty, but I can't afford to pay it. <laughs> that then. payment plan's even different, bro. I had about 10 grand and I still haven't paid shit. <laughs> now, put it in this perspective. Yeah, I can afford three cents a week. <laughs> let's say you can. <laughs> so, I remember one sec. <laughs> so, does $20 a fortnight sound good? Honestly, man, I can't do more than five cents a year. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do $20 a month? <laughs> what? 20 bucks a month is too much! M- meet me in the middle. <laughs> no, uh, no, I'll land, land with you for it. <laughs> yeah. No, I've got no point with you. <coughs> it, but I will, see you. I will see you on June 3rd. Hey, honestly, if you win the treble, I'll be here. We'll come, we'll have the discussion. We'll talk about which Wait, There's no discussion. No, I, no. I just want you to know, if we win the treble, when we win the treble, there's no discussion. Your United team is dusted and gone into the history books and the archives. But we'll History is now being written in front of your eyes. Okay. Okay. Sa- sadly, happen. it is. It's not gonna. That United history will never go. It's United. Like I'm a Liverpool fan. I can't They've never it. had history, so this is the first time. We're writing it. We're, we're writing, writing like, history. Guess what? You For never... reference, Liverpool's night. Ni- Liverpool had a squad in 1977 that oh, were gonna we win a treble. They were gonna win a treble. Guess who stopped them? We did. And in United, Freco, that goes down as one of our best and most favorite teams because we stopped that 77 team. I hope to God. Fucking Harry Maguire's lifting up a trophy, how, lifting up a trophy at Wembley because that's gonna burn you. Because even if you go win Imagine your Champions that, League, burned your if, even if you go win your your Champions League, you can come and chat to me about how you've won a Champions League. You can sit at the big boys' table now. But you know what I'll <laughs> say to you, Cuz, where's your third? We took it away from you. <laughs> I'm going to laugh so much when we 6 nil them at, the, at, the, at Wembley. Because hey, I don't even know what I want anymore, because I, I don't know what the fuck I want anymore. I'm stuck between two now, because I hate Liverpool. Why didn't you do yeah. something this yeah, year? Yeah, he's just thinking about Maguire lifting the train. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Maguire! <laughs> he's just got that image in his head. Fuck me, bro. Yeah, it hurts, that's a, that's a disgusting image for everyone to Imagine see. Imagine you, you, if you saw that, that would burn you. That would, I would, it would obliterate me. Oh, I need this. I need this. I, I, I just, I, I, honestly, wallah. I don't know how you're this cocky. Do you know why? Because no, no, no. of the I'll, football I'm saying. Okay, no bro. worries, but fuck football, you say, because Liverpool Baba. against Madrid in the Champions League final, we played the, one of the best football we've played. We attacked them. We, when Klopp was saying we actually played good football, he meant it, but they had one bloke that stopped everything. So it could be, I don't know. I'm just giving you some advice. Because when everyone last year was telling me quadruple, quadruple, and I started to believe it because obviously as a fan, no, no, obviously as a you fan, you've got to get on the hype train. I, I get no, no, why it's not even the hype train. It's just in front of us. It's there. It's possible. So That's why he's the way he is. No, no, of I course. But I never, ever, I never, ever said fucking, ah, this, that. I just never said it because I'm like, bro. He's antagonizing me. He's been poking me for a week <laughs> yes, and a half. Yes, yes. He's, he's, and he's going to keep poking me until <laughs> do you the, the season's over. Do you want to announce the award show for what we're doing next week? <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into episode five. As you know, that the Premier League wraps up this weekend, so episode forty-six is going to be a bit of a special one. The boys and I here are going to be giving out awards. Suited and, and booted. Suited so we're going to be suited and booted, and we're going to be giving out awards. Um, if you have a category that you want us to cover, you know, best signing of the season, best player of the season, best moment of the season, all that will come. But if there's a category you want us to cover, make sure you comment it down below. Guys, it's been episode 45. TK here. One sec, i got one more thing Sui. to say. These are not regular awards. There's going to be some regular awards given out, but there's going to be some Ajibe awards. Right? This is the Ajibe awards show for the yeah. false nine. All right? Be in, all right? be out. If you don't want to be part of it, you just fuck off, mate. You want me to pick up our slides again? You want nah, I'm nah, but yeah, man, I- I'm excited for it, actually. Best bro. the of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, today's episode has been sponsored by Era Inc. Uh, the link is in our bio. If you do need tattoo removals, you know where to go. Mention Ajibe at the clinic and the boys will take care of you.